Hello every pony artist Anna here. Link to my Divinian art in the description below and also for my Patreon if you like to do that. Warning this video will contain pictures from other YouTubers, so if you don't like stuff like this, uh, click away or else stay. And also warning it's going to contain pictures from Google and other places that is not mine and my personal opinion about a top five that I think that you are going to watch here in the holidays because I'm going to be um, offline. So if you don't like this, uh, click away or I'll stay yeah, here. Here we go. And uh, three, two, in. So first of all, I would like to say I'm going to be offline this Christmas. So a whole week from today or even more. Um, I don't know yet, but I was going to recommend a uh, top five um, bronies or channels or <laughs> you know stuff to watch uh, when you're home alone in Christmas or you just want to have something to do in the Christmas time. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to put a number on them. But I'm going to uh, put them in like uh, how I feel you guys uh, should watch them or how I f wanted to um, say that this, this is nice. So number one or how to say that is um, Daughter of Discord. And I will of course leave a link to all of the ones here in um, the comments so you can go and watch them. Uh, Daughter of Discord is a cute story about Discord and Fluttershy getting a baby named Screwball. And if you don't already know it, I would recommend you go and watch it. The series have uh, expanded and been more, you know, consistent in the uploads. There have been some problems and stuff like that, but I can wait for a good story. So it's not something that I feel is um, necessarily a bad thing or how to say that. I really do feel like they have achieved uh, a lot and they will still be uh, just better. So. I will just recommend you go and watch it and um, there's also a lot of other stuff on the channel uh, you can watch so I will definitely um, recommend this uh, Daughter of Discord also because I really do feel like it's cute and it's something you can watch in the holidays uh, even though it's not holiday themed. But I really do feel like it's homey and family orientated and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, that is that. Um, for my number two, I have uh, Miss Anthropony with the Confession series. And I will leave a link to chapter one. But my favorite chapter is the last chapter where he is talking to us and telling us thank you and stuff like that. But I will leave the link for the number one and I really do feel like he have come a long way with his uh, confession series and it's finally over or how to say that and it's something I feel like you can go and watch even though that you're maybe not that into Miss Anthropony or actually My Little Pony in general. Because there's um, some episodes where he talks about how he uh, actually hated the fandom at one point, but he learned to love, you know, the fandom. And I really do feel like there has been a long growth with him. Um, the truth of the matter is that I became Miss Anthropony's fan from the very beginning. So I know or I feel like it was a switch in his personality after he made the golden fox thing which where I told him I thought it was a bad idea but never mind <laughs> he uh, did it anyway and yeah then everything just changed so I really do feel like 
It's worth the watch and some of the um, confessions is very heartwarming and uh, you know, open-minded and uh, reaching out to specific ponies, for example, keyframe in one of them, I remember, and uh, ANY and uh, Golden Fox and so on. So I will let you guys go and see them and uh, maybe it's not something for you, but I really did enjoy watching all of the series and uh, having a great time with uh, finding out more about uh, Miss Anthropony. Okay, yeah. Um, for my number three, I have In the Presence of the Kings by Reverb Brony. And Reverb Brony have been one of my favorite musicians uh, of all time. Now my uh, favorite number is still uh, Frozen in Fear, but I will leave a link to the presence of in the presence of the kings, just because I really do feel like this is one of his uh, new good numbers. I do believe it's my number two of all of the numbers and music that he did. So I really do want to say that it's something I really do enjoy watching and hearing. So, uh, but I will warn people here, it's a uh, hardcore metal. So maybe it's not all, uh, you know, music tastes, uh, but I really do feel like it's something I uh, would recommend for my, you know, friends. So <laughs> give it a go if you like heavy metal. Um, he also makes a lot of other uh, music. And as I said, my favorite is Frozen in Fear, which I try to make a um, song for, or how to say that in an uh, animation. But I will leave a link to the, uh, yeah, the King's uh, version here. And I will say it's, um, Besides being one of the more decent numbers, or how to say that, uh, one of my favorite numbers now uh, in the presence of uh, the king is also reminding me of, you know, what I want to see in My Little Pony. I want to see this uh, Celestia that have fallen from grace and now have to fight to uh, come back again, or how to say that, or somebody saves her from you know the fall into flames or how to say that so yeah um okay yeah next one is uh, Australian bronies rag to 2k sub special ask me anything uh, by Ahmed Brony. I will leave a link to the first one. There's also a second part where they react to some of the uh, Flufflepuff uh, tales, but I really do like this uh, where they just are answering all of the questions that are being asked to them and they're thinking about making this um, I will not say a thing, but uh, I feel like Amar told or asked in the chat if there's something people want to see. And I really did like this, uh, you know, streaming view or how to say that. So I would definitely like to have more of these. Uh, I will also like the reactions. <laughs> They are actually the ones that I go to for my re reactions on My Little Pony, so that is that. Um, yeah, I don't know how much else to say about that uh, besides they are funny and I feel like it's something you can watch when you're a little bit bored and just want to have a small smile on your face. So uh, for the last one, I have uh, Small Scales Chapter 1 by uh, Dr. Wolf and I will leave the link for Chapter 1 down below. And the reason why I have taken Small Scales uh, is actually because I really feel like this is an interesting story 
about Spike and dragons and stuff like that. And I really do like uh, Dr. Wolf's reading voice. Maybe it's not something for you, but I really do feel like this uh, episodes are very also heartwarming and family orientated and you know, uh, a great way to pass time uh, before Christmas or how to say that. So I will definitely recommend all of these five things um, and I will miss you all. I will also wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if we are not going to see each other before after that. <laughs> And I'm very sorry that I don't want to put videos up when I'm, but I'm not at home, so it's not possible for me to put up videos, even though that I maybe wanted to. But I really do feel like I'm going to have so much fun with my family and um, my friends and my boyfriend, so I hope that everything is going to be fine and uh, I can figure out how I want to have my new start uh, when I come back because I really want to have some more animation and I want to have some more uh, stories and uh, theories and things so if there's something you miss from my channel uh, let me know or else uh, this is it for this year merry christmas everybody and that was actually all um, do remember that inspiration is right around the corner do remember to take care of yourself and your loved ones and uh, stay safe this christmas yeah and uh, new year's also stay safe um that's actually all yeah okay bye